Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at some new and amazing design tools and updates to some of your favorite tools, which will kind of blow your mind. There are AI tools, 3D tools, and so much more that I'm sure all of you will love. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so the first one here is 60 frames per second dot design, 60 FPS. And even though the, and the name is already very creative here, but apart from the name, all the famous apps that maybe even you are using, all the different animations, startup animations, welcome animations, button animations, everything are compiled here in one simple interface. And it's super easy to locate anything that you want. For example, Swiggy is a popular food delivery app here in India. And it's kind of showing you how Swiggy's interaction looks like for tab interactions. Similarly, you can see these look really cool. Now, what if I want to navigate to a particular UI that I want to check out how certain companies are animating it? For example, I want to see how people animate chat boxes or chat bubbles, etc. I can look at, I can press chat here. And as you can see, different companies handle chat differently. For example, Air Chat handles chat in a very unique manner like so. Or how progress bars or progress indicators on different websites look. For example, this nice little progress bar and indicator by a company called Luna. Personalize your escapes. In fact, you can't show this, but there is audio also. So you can even get audio inspiration for your apps as well. Really cool thing is they've separated all the designs into shots, which are these app screens. You have apps, so you can just look at only so you can look at all the cool apps they've kind of listed out. Apple TV, Arc, Atoms, Aether, Balance, Bear. You have all the famous apps. There are also ads. Yep, this is really cool. So if you're someone who's a video editor or someone who's creating ads for their companies, all these are different ads by different companies and an endless list of video ads that you can check out. I think a very, very good website for inspiration for everything motion, animation, whatever you want to call it. And they also have something called Storyboard, which is coming soon. I'm assuming these are case studies of different apps and how people reached a certain design. All right, so this next one is kind of coming in as a comparator for Framer, Webflow, and all these really cool website builders. This is called Revi Me or Revi Me. I'm not very sure how to pronounce it. The web builder for creative designers. And as you can see, this is a more simplified version of tools like Webflow. So it kind of reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of Adobe XD, sort of like that, but for designing and for designing responsive websites. There are some really cool websites that are already being built. For example, this one by Nikita Kaufman. He or she has designed this really cool portfolio website, so as to say. But I think this is a really cool representation of what can be built with Revimi. It's something very different from what everyone else is doing. Unfortunately, at the time of recording, I'm not being able to launch this website. Every time I press launch, it does not launch. I can see this becoming a competitor to Framer because it's how simple this is as compared to the more complex kind of web builders. Okay, this one is the biggest one of the month. Easy. It's called the eBay Playbook. And eBay has finally launched their own design system, their own brand guidelines, their own brand strategy for the future, their own marketing material, as you say, as it said. But boy, is this looking absolutely stunning. Honestly, it reminds me of a slightly different... Honestly, it has those material design touches. I feel it does remind me of that. But I like how well displayed everything is. I like the direction they're going in. It's very, it's very human-like. It's very easy, minimal, and simple. For example, I can head over to their website and there's a lot of cool things to check out. If I check out design systems, it'll show you things like tokens, components, and patterns. So whether you're a developer or designer, it works for both. As you can see, there are a lot of different kinds of patterns that you can check out. There are components like avatars, badges, etc. Being used by eBay themselves, but this is a complete resource in itself. The Material Design website or HIG guidelines. It has everything from breadcrumbs to dialogues to dividers. Everything with examples, what to do and what not to do. 
their kind of scientific explanation of everything and the psychology behind this. And it, honestly, it works both dark and light mode, which I really like. There are, of course, tools and resources that they're giving out to designers like you guys. You also have the media kit, which gives you a lot of graphics, the logos, etc. Now, the icon library is public with SVG icons for Android, for iOS and everything around that. Some things, again, are locked, but some of these variations you can just get for free and start using in Figma. They also have a color pairing tool where, they, where you can select the color you want and it kind of pairs it with the right kind of uh, colors for the fonts and you can kind of choose what kind of base you like and it kind of showcases how everything will look on screen. What I really like is the way can, they kind of represent it in all different formats here. So if you're a Photoshop guy, you can check out RGB. If you're a, a Figma guy, you can check out Hex. Or how they're using colors with images and what they kind of follow. Things like, so right now they're following two color principles, the analog analogous as well as complementary. So they're using only two kinds of colors. Now, I really like the complementary color palette. I think it's very modern, very stylistic. They have illustrations, motion toolkit, type testers, anything that is free, please take and start using. I think it's really cool. Something different from material design and HIG that we use on a daily basis. Heck, as a bonus, they even have listed out their email design system and their marketing UI graphics. Just a cherry on top of the cake. Again, super excited for this. Since we're talking about UI design inspiration, how about a lot of the websites for UI design inspiration are paid. Yes, unfortunately, things like Mobin, etc. However, this refro.design is a really cool website, which is absolutely free of cost. And the only, with no blockers, no paywalls, etc. for anything, the only thing that is behind a paywall is the Refro Pro, which is again, just $2 a month. You have a lot of collections, which I find very interesting. And the brand, and the way they've branded the website is really nice too. It's very easy to kind of navigate everything and it's slightly less cluttered as a UI itself. For example, I want to check out how profiles look on Telegram. I just open this and there's a very nice little interface to kind of check out all the different kinds of elements Cards, titles, buttons, pro. You can even check out all the colors that are being used on the screen right here from this panel on the right. You can even download or save to bookmark, etc. You can check between web and iOS. It also has something called visit original page on the bottom right here. And if I click on this, it directly takes me to the original page where the design is coming from. It might not be the same because it changes over time, but... Again, it kind of gives you that live site, which I haven't seen with a lot of other websites right now. Again, a really cool addition to your daily tools and tasks. Once again, you can thank me in the comments. If someone told me Squarespace would impress me as a designer, well, I wouldn't believe them, but they kind of have. It's called AI and it's called design intelligence. This design intelligence is kind of useful for people who want to design and update their websites on a frequent basis. They of course have a build your own with AI. So you simply just type in what you like, the personality of the website, the kind of graphics elements you like, and it instantly gives you a well-designed website and Squarespace is already quite powerful. They also have a style guide builder, which a lot of other AI tools don't have right now. Once again, Squarespace impressing me, I didn't know. They are focusing on things like layout switchers, so you can instantly switch layouts of different sections. If you don't like one layout, you can try out other few layouts with the same content, etc. You also have site themes, once again, fixes the theme all across the website. And they have Webflow-like capabilities now. So you can tweak everything as much as you want. So it's not just a, a drag and drop website builder anymore. What's cool is that it will help you with things like SEO, blogging and whatnot. It has an AI website copy. It has AI product descriptions. So you can ask the AI to describe products that you're selling through the website, the services, etc. It also has AI email campaigns all built in. So for one price, you're getting multiple things, website, email. Talking about website builders, finally, Zoom has a style guide builder as well. Zoom is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite AI website design tools. 
and this had taken the world by storms is super trendy a lot of different structures for your website responsive structures which you can then forward to figma webflow and all these tools they finally have something called ai powered style guide where they're literally building the style guide for your website all the different stylistic elements buttons fonts everything be in line with your brand and the description that you have already given it so apart from just building a wireframe it can finally build a full fledged styled and colored and everything website which i'm really super excited for you can actually sign up from the link in the description where you can sign up for this particular feature not everyone will get the feature unless you sign up for it free to sign up as i always say okay so this next one is called on look and the title is interesting it says the power of figma for your own react app so you can design like you're designing in figma you have auto layouts you have typography padding all that good stuff that already figma has it has design system capabilities but this is for developing a react application so you're developing a final react ui which can then be taken into a final production stage so for now figma does not allow you to edit code add your own code etc on look does you can completely tweak the code if you like you can clean it up you can shorten it you can lengthen it and all of this is happening locally as well so unless you opt for it none of this is going to the cloud so all the code and everything stays private and you can link to your current react projects as well instantly with their command with their npx command i have a secret i do a lot of research for these videos now design directory or design dir dir dot org is a all in one resource to find all new and amazing design tools for different purposes colors typography iconography and prototype any sort of need you have click on one of these categories on the left you then can have a list of all the cool tools that they have and the website of that tool opens here without you leaving their website how cool is that so if you're trying to compare different tools and you want to see different tools for different purposes you can check out design directory 100% free of cost no premium features no nothing it's just free and it's made by some amazing creators shout out to the creators of this tool really cool thing that you're doing for free for everyone and i've i'm seeing a lot of these tools which i've never checked out mock up world browser frame the next one is called flux ai lab create unique ai images with multi flux model there's a relatively new image generation model or gen ai model and this is claiming that it will be able to create complex structures it designs type so much more and it won't bug out like other ai tools they're promoting things like changing your current graphics to another style changing your current photos to another style just like that or fixing your photos they have something called image to prompt if you have the photo of this phone it can describe this phone as a prompt and that is something that will help you out when writing prompts for for this ai tool for example so i think this could be really cool when describing when wanting to do prompt engineering without knowing how to do prompt engineering you can create your own character designs as well as a lot of mock ups that i'm seeing here so i think this could be a really cool thing for graphic designers out there or business owners who want all right guys that is it for today's video if you like the video like button hitting the like button is all you need to do to support the channel and get these videos for free every week and the subscribing word mean that you get my videos more often and you don't miss out easy free of course and no hassle at all i'll see you next week same time until next time take care god bless